If you are having a laptop which is old and quite slow and whenever you try to do some work on it, it always crashes. Then uh, before throwing it away, wait wait wait, just watch this video till the end. You will definitely get some value out of it. So yeah, this is not uncommon for old laptops to be, uh, to be old. So what happens uh, as time passes on new softwares, new uh, operating system comes on over the time and uh, your old laptop the hardware remains the same. So as more and more OS updates comes on uh, for Windows, uh, your system gets slow and slow and slow unless you do something about it. Now there are two ways, either you go ahead and purchase a new laptop, another option you go and upgrade your laptop. That also takes some cost. You have to upgrade the RAM, maybe you have to install an SSD sort of stuff, but still you get the job done. So in both the cases, you have to spend some money. A lot in the first case, but a little bit in the second case. But what if I say there is another way, a third way, where you don't have to spend a single money. So what you can do is install a lightweight operating system, such as the Chrome OS Flex. So today we are going to talk about that. We will talk about the features of Chrome OS, why should it be the best for your laptop and how can your old and crappy laptop get a new life and become snappy with Chrome OS Flex. So let's get started. So first let us head over to Chrome Recovery Utilities extension. Search Chrome Recovery Utilities it will show this one so you have to download from chrome web store this recovery utility chrome recovery utility i have already downloaded and installed it in my chrome browser so just go to the extensions and here you can find chrome recovery utilities click on to that now it will show you to create a recovery media for your chromebook so this is the way how we are going to create a bootable drive with this recovery media from chrome and then we will we will just flash that recovery media onto this USB drive. Then this USB drive will be ready with Chrome OS and then we flash it or try it onto our different laptop. So let's go ahead and get started. Identify your Chromebook. So here you have to select a model from the list. We go ahead and select uh, from all this since we want the operating system only. So go to Google Chrome OS Flex select a product select chrome os flex and then head on to continue select the media you would like to use so this one sandisk cruiser blade that i'm going to use for uh, flashing or making the bootable drive with the efi partition so click on continue it will show to create a recovery image and we had to create now so now it will flash the recovery media with this Chrome OS Flex. Let's just wait for that. Okay, so it's about to be completed. 92% nearly, nearly there. And, 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 and done. Success, your recovery media is ready. Now, we can remove our USB thumb drive and that is now freshly flashed with our Chrome OS Flex. So now let's head over to our old laptop where we are going to install Chrome OS Flex. So as I was saying, before booting up from your USB drive, uh, keep in mind that you will have to go to your BIOS settings and change the boot options there to legacy boot enable so make sure you enable legacy boot otherwise uh, for many of your devices legacy boot is not default by default it's not enabled it's generally disabled for windows systems so if it is disabled then uh, your chrome os flex won't boot up and you will be greeted with a black screen uh, don't worry uh, just go back just shut down your laptop go back to your bios settings and enable legacy boot also check the legacy boot uh, options uh, first it should be uh, from usb drive then it should come all the other options such as network drive or a cd drive if you have those 
uh, and and at the last it should be the OS uh, boot option okay so let us just uh, go and click on to the get started option get started now don't install Chrome OS flex uh, if you install Chrome OS flex without thinking twice what it would do it would directly wipe out your Windows installation that is pre-installed OS in your system and it would install Chrome OS as an irreversible or the permanent one so go with the try it first option but if you know what you are doing then definitely and you want to install Chrome OS flex as permanently in your system then go ahead and install Chrome OS flex but I definitely recommend to try it out first check out the flavor if you are happy with it then you can go ahead and the next time and install Chrome OS flex so for our case for our presentation or for this video we'll uh, go ahead with the try it first option our main windows installation will still be there there will be no harm to that so let's go ahead and click on next so it's now loading okay. current version india accept and continue now here you get the option to set it up for a child or yourself this same screen will be greeted uh, when you are installing it for permanent or install uh, chrome os into your system so here you can set up this thing for your child say you, are, you want to install uh, chrome os uh, onto your old system and give it out to your uh, child or your younger brothers so that they can try out or ha their hands into computing system computing world so you can go ahead with uh, child installation so it, it will so set up some digital ground rules that they can what they can do into the system and what they cannot and that is a good thing to have when your toddlers or uh, your kids are first trying out their hands with computers so you can go ahead uh, with a child or if you want to set it up for yourself go ahead with you so i'll go ahead with you and let's head over to next and here i'll give my email id and set it up since chrome os flex is a web uh, like a web based user interface or web based operating system so most of your things will be dependent on chrome google services and uh, that is why your login to chromebook is essential a login to google uh, gmail that is essential here so give your emails and set it up so once you have given your user id login user id and password uh, just like a typical uh, in your Android setup, it would then install all their Google apps and in this case Chrome OS installation will proceed. So let's wait for that and once it's done, then we'll see. So get started. Wing welcome. So now we are greeted with a welcome screen. Our Chrome OS installation is done, ready. Here, just like in Windows, you have this start menu. You can click in here, see all this uh, similar to Windows or you, rather similar to your Android interface. You have playbooks, messages, play movies, Chrome, which is very important in Chrome OS, Gmail, Google Meet, Google Chat, Docs, Slides, everything, seats. So here you, you don't install any app or most of your apps are uh, web based for your word excel powerpoint sort of stuff here you have uh, in place of microsoft word you have now google docs in place of uh, excel you have now um, google sheets and that sort of stuff and by default your system is connected with your google drive uh, the account from which you have logged into chrome os uh, its google drive is directly connected to this so whatever you save in here you can that will also be synced up with your google drive account so that is one good thing to have it will keep all of your data backups okay and if you are having a, a android phone with yourself then you can directly sync it with uh, with your chrome os but with your pc here so here we are in the welcome screen and if we go to this uh, taskbar section here you have uh, google chrome instead of chromium you have google chrome you have your gmail and that is by default logged in so you have your gmail account and that is it you have your gmail here and uh, also you have a calendar google calendar you have uh, this thing google calendar here so here you can schedule your task uh, whatever you are planning to do you can set your to-do list and that sort of stuff 
you can do here and uh, that is with uh, calendar you have your basic file system here uh, you can download uh, things from the web or you can store your files that you have created say word or google sheets or google docs files you can store here directly into your hard drive and then you have uh, google meet option so you can open google meet uh, go on a video meeting or a video call if your kids are using this system they can uh, do their video calls with online classes and sort of stuff so that uh, feature is available these are good to have things and then you have your old trusty youtube and then you have your web store so here keep in mind you do not get uh, uh, a play store installed uh, rather than that you have web store so in this web store you have several extensions chrome extensions basically so that you can change the system theme and that sort of stuff you can install apps that are available here so there you have it your chrome os flex installation uh, here in this side you have uh, your times and uh, battery percentages so let us now just go ahead and shut down the system let's see and that is done so fast so that's it that's all about chrome os flex do give it a try at your home if you are having an old laptop that is slow and uh, you are not getting any uh, work done with it chrome os installation will put new life into it and if you are planning to buy then before purchasing a chromebook you can try it on your own with this easy free installation of chrome os flex onto any of your laptop you don't even have to install it you can try it out with the live os as we have demonstrated here that's it for today see you in the next video and before going out hit on to the like button smash the subscribe button and share this video with your friends and family i'll see you in the next video